grace and peace to you this day. I thought I would share our first reflection as a video this week as we lean into the July 4th weekend and also the weekend that we at First Church are reopening for in-person worship for both 9 and 11 a.m. services. More information is on our website and on Facebook. But here in this first reflection, I wanted you to do some reflecting with me. A few weeks ago, I had an opportunity to work with the council at our June council meeting. We spent some time sharing with each other in small groups and then sharing as a large, larger group about things that we've learned during this pandemic and what all this means for us coming back to worship and for our community and our life together. So I want you to do some reflecting as well, maybe during this holiday weekend, maybe with family and friends. Here are the questions that I asked the council to think about and then share with one another. During this time of pandemic, what have you learned? What have you learned? Council members had really interesting uh, answers to this question. They learned that they didn't want to be overprogrammed in all aspects of their life. They learned to embrace nature more than they ever have. They learned to connect with family in new ways. Lots of reasons. What is your reason? What have you learned in this time of pandemic? The second question I ask them is, okay, what did you learn? But what is it that you know wasn't working or didn't work during the pandemic? Maybe it wasn't working well before the pandemic and it's really not working well in the midst of this pandemic. But now that we're starting to come out of this pandemic and returning for more activities, what do you wanna let go of? What are you very happy with letting go of? I call it blessing and releasing. What do you wanna bless and release? and not pick up again. The third question I asked them, which was, what did you learn in the pandemic? What do you want to bless and release? But what do you want to carry forward? Maybe you learned a new skill. Maybe you learned how to sing, or play an instrument, or crochet, or knit, or cross stitch, or ride a bike. What do you want to carry with you? Maybe it's a new spiritual discipline. Maybe you carry with you the fact that isolation is really hard and that you yearn for community. And maybe this community of faith here at First Church is the place where you can find that community. What do you want to carry with you? So I ask you to think about these three questions. What did you learn? What do you want to bless and release? And what do you want to carry with you? The council is certainly wrestling with those questions for really interesting discussion and communication among themselves. And it helped us dream a little bit. What might it mean when we come back into this space and we come back together for in-person worship and, and to join again to see familiar faces and welcome new faces in who have been joining us remotely as we've been live streaming our worship services, but they might come back too for the very, they might come for the very first time to be part of this faith community. So I ask you to think about those things and what might God be up to in this community of faith? What might God be up to in your life, in our life together? Blessings this Friday for this first reflection we hope to see many of you on Sunday, July 4th for 9 and 11 a.m. worship services, or we will see you as you join online. We look forward to seeing what God is up to here in us and through us at First Congregational Church. Grace and peace to you.